Happy Saturday, everybody. Did quite a bit of hunting today. I really didn't find anything new anywhere. Uh, probably went to six or seven stores, and uh, the last one I went to tonight, I saw this 20 pack and decided to pick it up. <clears throat> got quite a few good cars in it uh, as you can see there's a few that are upside down and turned over and such but uh got another exclusive color here of the BMW M4 as well as the Porsche 918 Spider, as well as some other exclusive cars uh, there's a yellow porsche upside down down there that i've been wanting that i've seen in some of these packs nice lamborghini there so yeah didn't have much luck finding anything else but i thought for a 20 pack this was pretty decent there's always you know a bunch of fantasy cars in these packs but there's a decent amount of good ones in here but we'll just take a look at the good ones of course you don't really collect fantasy castings but there are you know some exceptions like uh, the bone shaker here which was up also almost all the way upside down in the pack <clears throat> i don't really collect bone shakers per se i have like maybe two or three of them i just kind of will keep them here and there pick them up here and there but uh, it's kind of a cool hot rod casting. Not sure what that says. Um, something classics. Uh, anyway, I don't know if this particular release is a multi-pack exclusive or not. I don't really keep up too much on the Bone Shaker, but um, it's not bad. I, I do like the color. Not super keen on the graphics, but I like the green color here. Very detailed model. Might end up keeping it not sure but yeah bone shaker <clears throat> let's see what now we've got the plymouth barracuda here in red this was in the main line this is not a multi-pack exclusive and uh, I already have this one in blue. Also, I have this one in red, blue, and then the Kroger exclusive yellow. So, just thought I'd show that one off. I don't know how I feel about the lace wheels on this car, but I still like it. Nice color. All right, how about the 71 Porsche 911 in black, which I already have this one as well from a either an eight pack earlier this year or a three pack or something. But uh, nice to have a second one here. I really like this particular release. We've had a lot of 
71 9 11 releases this year in premium mainline and the silver line tons of them for 2024 I really dig this one. It's got the black cool classic cool classics style wheels. 71 with goldish bronze stripes and rim around the wheels. Very cool. Just have an extra one now. Okay. Here is a color, red color, I'm sorry, of the casting the Nash. It's Technically kind of a fantasy casting, but it's based off of a real car called the Metropolitan Nash, I believe. Uh, obviously customized to be more of a uh, drag car, but it is a real car technically. Got a big old engine. And you've, the windows are kind of a pinkish, magenta-ish shade. Skinny tires all the way around. The Nash. It's a neat little casting. I think I have one other example of this car so yeah it's in my favorite color now red <clears throat> up next here this is the 67 austin minivan So, a Mini Cooper delivery van, basically. I don't have this particular color, but I have, like, two other ones of this casting. We don't see it too often anymore, and when we do, it is in like multi-packs like this not really it's never really in the regular main line anymore or anything got those cool classics wheels on it I think it's a cool casting it would be a cool premium I don't know if there is a premium version version of this car but here it is in this like pastel minty uh, it's darker than mint I don't know weird green color with black and white stripes cool little delivery type van probably keep that Here is a recolor of the, I believe it's pronounced Zinger, 21C. I've looked this car up before, I know, before, but I honestly forget if it's an electric car or a gas-powered car. It's been a while, but uh, this was in the main line. Came out in blue, and then it was in this red color, so this is not an exclusive. It's got really good detail on the back. 
And you got headlights, too. Single seater, for sure. It's got some good detail in the molding of the casting itself. Definitely a super car, hyper car, even. I do have the blue one, but I never picked this uh, red one up. It's kind of a goofy looking car, to be honest. But it's not bad. I like the color and the detailing on it. and It's just very futuristic and concept looking. But yeah, the Zinger. Alrighty, moving along. There's a decent amount of good cars in here. I already have this guy here. This is the uh, 2012 Beetle. I already have this guy from a... I think it was an 8-pack earlier this year. That I've... I know I've featured it in a video before, but... Got a second one here now in this 20 pack. I really like this particular release. This is a multi pack exclusive. We don't really see this casting anymore in the main line or anything except for a. Uh, in these multi packs, it seems like we've been getting them the last few years. I'm not a Beetle fan or. I like old Beetles, but the newer ones are eh. But this particular generation, uh, the last one, wasn't too bad. And uh, I think it's a decent casting. And I just really like the, uh, the plain paint job, but it's got the full detail. And then really like that style wheel on it. Looks really cool. So, got another one of these loose. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good one. All right. Next up, we've got a Lamborghini. The Centenario Roadster in this sky blue, baby blue. Woo, bleh, I'm sorry. <laughs> bleh. We saw this in the main line a few times, and then there was like a, I think it was maybe a Target, Target exclusive or something like that. And then it, we just see it in the uh, multi-packs now, once in a while. Pretty cool casting. I don't really like roadsters and convertibles as much, but this particular car, I think, does look good the way it was designed. Very cool windshield design. Kind of like the... Uh, Reventon Roadster, but I think this casting's better. And it's in a simple color. Blue with the gray PR5s, and you got your tail lights and headlights, so... It's a winner to me. One of the uh, better looking Lambo castings, in my opinion. And speaking of Lambos, I do not have this one either. This is a Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, what is it? LP 500 or? Yeah, LP 560. Uh, this is a multi pack exclusive also. 
again, another one of those castings that we don't really see anymore, except in multi-packs. Seems like they do that with a lot of castings now, for whatever reason, but it makes them all the more special. I really like this cast, uh, Lamborghini casting as well. This is the Gallardo, or Gallardo, whatever. This is what the Huracans replaced. So these are older, not old, but an older Lamborghini, like early to mid-2000s. And it looks really good in this gray. Or, the wheels are gray. Green with the tail lights and the headlights. And I always thought this was a good Lambo casting. Good representation of the car. As I said, gray wheels. It's the uh, newer style lace wheels, which I do like depending on the car. And, uh, I don't think they're the best choice here, but I do like it. Another Lambo to add to the collection. There's also a Gallardo Super Legera 570 or something like that casting uh, that looks like this, but has a spoiler on it. That's a good casting as well. And up next is the Porsche 911 GT2 <clears throat> in a plain yellow. Also a exclusive to the multi-packs. Another <laughs> casting, like I was saying, only see in multi-packs now. Did debut in the main line and had a bunch of main line releases, but haven't seen it in the regular main line in quite a few years, I'm pretty sure. But I, I like this casting in car in real life. I always pick it up when it comes out in the new colors. Black PR5s, GT2, taillights. Plastic headlights and the Porsche badge. This looks awesome. I've just recently started seeing these in the stores in some of these packs. And I'm like, oh, I need to pick one up so I can get that Porsche. But I've just had to find the right one because, you know, some of these don't have the greatest mixes in them. This darn thing wants to keep rolling off. Yeah, I, I really like this one. This looks sweet. This might be one of my uh, favorites of this car. Just really looks good with the yellow on black wheels. Love this car. And this this is more of a uh, older, like... Yeah, this car came out in 2011, so this is a couple generations ago Porsche. Not a newer one, but this was the GT2, which was a twin turbo. High output version. So yeah, awesome. And speaking of yellow Porsches, one of the stars of the pack is the multi-pack exclusive 918 Spider, And they've <clears throat> now used this a couple times this year, like it, at least three times in three different colors in these multi-packs. Seems like just the 20 packs are what they've showed up in. I haven't seen them in any of the 8s or 3s. But this is a good casting. The 918 Spider. This is a hybrid um, hypercar. 
It's got a V8 with a couple electric motors and all-wheel drive. And it is one quick car. Rolling on those new lace style wheels in yellow. 18 with a black stripe. Got a little bitty, little bit of detail up here. Porsche badge, headlights, black stripes. Very cool. Earlier this year, I picked up a 20 pack with the blue version here. These are just wanting to roll all over the place tonight, guys. Sorry. But, uh, I don't know. I think I like this yellow one more. Both very cool. Love this casting. Again, maybe not my first choice wheel-wise, but I think they work. I don't know. It's a tough decision. I think they both look good. There is another color of this out there in these 20 packs. It might be gray or silver. I really can't remember, but I know there's another one as well as another BMW M3. But yeah, glad to have another 918 in the Porsche collection. Very cool. Love it. And then the other multi-pack star here is the green BMW M3, or M4, I'm sorry. It's like an emerald. It's not Spectra Flame or anything, just plain emerald-ish green. Gray lace wheels. Got your nice clean detail in the back and in the front. And of course, that's a winner to me. Very nice. I said M3 earlier. The They used to be M3s, but they're now M4s. And I think they still call the four door version of the M4 the M3. I believe. So it's kind of confusing, but uh, same multi pack that I found the blue 918 in. Got this kind of sparkly black multi pack version here. So got two of these now from this year. Like I said, there's a third one out there. I don't remember what color exactly, but I think these look really cool. Uh, Going to have to go with the black one being my favorite of the two. But yeah, really cool car. Good model from Hot Wheels. And uh, I'm glad to see them releasing it more in the multi-packs now because same case as a lot of these cars. You don't, we haven't been seeing them, this model, anywhere else besides the multi-packs. So glad we're getting them somehow. But yeah, this one looks really cool. I did a... Uh, have a video featuring this or no I did not I haven't featured this in a video before but yeah got this one earlier this year I think this one is mean but the screen one is no slouch either and uh yeah as far as good cars <laughs> goes in this 20 pack that is it
we had about we had a little more than half of the 20 pack were good cars a few of them i did already have but most of them i did not uh a lot of new exclusive colors so these pack uh, 20 packs are kind of expensive they're like $22 but I definitely made sure I found the right one before just buying the first one I saw with these exclusives I've been seeing these for months kind of but I really wanted to hold out and find one with these two along with this guy as well so happy to have found one finally and i had also seen this guy in a few of the packs so those were definitely the four that i was looking forward to finding and got a few other good ones but yeah let me know what you guys think enjoy the rest of your weekend guys thanks for tuning in and be careful and stay safe out there until next time.